Roger, roger. You know, I'm going to get my own quadrant someday. I'm going to kick back and watch the rest of you do the work. It will be the greatest time of my life. Hey, wait. You can't go in there. Wait, the master said explicitly solitude. You can't go It seems you have returned. Good. As you know, we have been going through these... metamorphoses Together, we have learned more about the code. And while it is my job to instill in you the knowledge it is up to you to ensure that you keep your passion for learning. However, today is not about passion. Today is about strength. <laughs> we are going to meditate on what it means to have strength. Strength goes beyond just being able to crush things, being able to put to heal those in front of us. It means gaining power. On one thing the Jedi are correct on, seeking out knowledge is vital to a Sith. Do you know why? Consider this. There is a reason they say that knowledge is power. For what you know can make all the difference in a life or death situation. And mark my words, apprentice, all situations are life and death. Such is the way of the dark side of the force. If you are not strong enough to wield it, it will reject you and crush you utterly. But to be strong, to grow stronger than even me, your master, that is important. That is necessary for the growth of the Sith. Long before there were many of us. Long before we numbered equal to the Jedi. But our numbers were destroyed. It was hardly just the Jedi's fault though. For you see, it started with Darth Bane. The rule of two. Simply a master, an apprentice. No more and no less. Why do you suppose it might be, apprentice? <laughs> if you do not have the knowledge, you must learn to take it from me using your power, forcing your will onto others who are weaker. That is the Sith way. And there is reason for it. For only through power can we control. Death is not a natural thing that we cannot avoid. Contrary to what others will teach you, it is very possible to overcome such a thing as death through strength and power alone. But mark well my words, it is not simply the strength of your arms, your legs, and your limbs. It is the strength of your will and your mind. 
And we are going to test that apprentice. We are going to test your will and test the strength of your mind. I am going to push you. You must resist me. You will fail many times, apprentice. But if you seek not to persevere, then you will fall. And I will lose an apprentice, which would be sad. But then you will have proven that you are not worthy to be my apprentice. So there is not great sorrow there. One other thing. The Jedi will tell you that we act in fear. That is untrue. It is not fear that drives us entirely. It is knowledge that we can be better, stronger, if we only wield more power. And through that power, we can dictate a proper way for those around us to live. A proper way for all of those to exist. Not a balance of power. Merely putting power where it belongs, to whom it belongs. Much as my power now usurps your own. Now then, apprentice, we will begin our meditation as per usual. Start by breathing. Deep good. Notice your body. Notice the tension in your body and assert your will by alleviating it. Very good. Relax your mind. For in that relaxation you will find a will to overcome. Utilize this apprentice as a springboard. Continue your breathing and let your focus keep you from being distracted by noises or things outside of this room. That is how you assert your will. That is how you dominate. Yes. Yes, very good. Very good, apprentice. As with before, allow your mind to seek out those things which you must learn to control. Sharpen your focus. Pay attention first only to the sound of your breathing. And then let your body naturally return to its normal state. Do not force your breath. Not yet. Good. Good. Now, apprentice, I wish for you to resist my will. See to it, if you can overpower me. You are worthless. You are 
nothing. You could not even try and accomplish this task. You are lazy. You are unfit to wield that lightsaber. You think you can bleed your saber, and yet it remains. What is it that you hear, apprentice? Do you hear the echoes of doubt in your mind? <laughs> or is it simply an illusion? Will you let those voices push you down? Or will you dominate them? Very good. Yes. Feel your anger surge. Let it give you focus. Let it sharpen you. That is the passion and the strength. Now, push further. Use that anger. Let it fuel you. Use the agitation in you to not only bring you focus, but feel how it empowers you. Do not let the power consume you. You are in control, apprentice, not it. Never underestimate your own ability. Push through, yes, yes, just like that. Crush those doubts in your fist. Feel them. Turn them into dust before letting them go. Let those doubts drift. You do not need them. For you know what you must do. The dark side of the Force will guide you. It will show you how to enact your will. And our first step. The first step to truly become one with the dark side. You will exert your will and your power over your kyber crystal. Tell me, what color is your crystal? <laughs> Surely you understand that the Jedi have reasons and understandings that they do not know the truth of. They say that each one represents this, that, or the other. But do you know what the true color of a kyber crystal is? Yes, apprentice. Red. Red as though it were the blood of a creature. Red with energy and passion. Red with focus but it will not allow you so easily to overcome it. Your next great part of this training and exercise in meditation, you will bleed your crystal. For if you fail, I will disavow you. But I do not think that you will fail me, apprentice. No, I think you are far more... capable. I trust in my own judgment. Now focus. Feel the crystal. As you reach out, what 
does it say? You needn't do this. This is not the proper path. There is no balance here. Do not lose focus. Do not lose the light. Please, don't. It will lie to you. It thinks that it knows better than you do. Prove it wrong, apprentice. Show it that you are the master of your own destiny, and that the Force is under your command, not the other way around. Yes. Yes. Turn it to you. Bleed it. That is it, apprentice. Yes. Now you have truly learned what power is. I will give you time to practice, focus, and exercise your power. We are going on a mission. And I wish for you to execute our plan. It seems your old master is trying to win you back from me. We must ensure that you cut off ties. Awaken, apprentice, and rise. No longer are you a Jedi. You have taken the first step, the first true step to being a Sith. Now there will be no turning back into the ignorance of being a Jedi. I am proud of you. You managed it. Now come. We must prepare to meet with your old master and see if he recognizes you. Your training continues. There is much still for you to learn. Let us go find your master, your old master, Jen Sal, and see now. Don't Yes, that will do nicely. Hello, everyone. It is Revenge of the Fifth of May. And I wanted to continue my Sith audios. There is now a little bit more of a story. Uh, you can blame Core Circuit for that, who is also the editor of this one and the Jedi audio. Again, phenomenal work. Cannot thank that guy enough. Please go support Core Circuit. Uh, you can find his info in the links in the description below. In the meantime, three audios in one week. Uh, for you guys, that's a feast, but also hopefully not overwhelming. 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that I get to record more for you guys in the future. In the meantime, may the Force be with you. Oh, and uh, sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.